Hey everybody, it's Heineke and today we've got another build tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to build this fantastic round greenhouse. So let's jump straight in and get to it. We're going to Tyler County Dirt Track again. I like Tyler County Dirt Track because it is a large flat area with low level enemies and it's also a workshop which means I'm not spending my own resources for the most part, I'm spending the workshop resources. I'm starting with a cross formation. So we have one piece in the center and two pieces in each direction. I'm using this particular floor covering because, not because it's beautiful or anything, it's pretty horrible really, but it has the cross markings on it which will help me to line things up. So what we're going to do is take these pieces and connect them like this so that we can form a circle. The cross markings on the foundation piece help me to try and line it up and it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because this is a very forgiving shape. So you get the idea of what's going on here, pretty straightforward. And then we take these other pieces and move them out so that they are in line with the pieces that we just moved and that will form a proper circle. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just get it as close as you can by eye. I use a keyboard, not a controller, so my lining up is a bit dodgy, but if you have a controller, you could probably get it pretty close to accurate. Now just checking that the lining up is okay. In some spots it's a bit dodgy so I'm going to reline those bits. And once you're happy with the lining up we can go ahead and do the next bit. And that next bit is placing wall panels that have a door hole in them on each of the inside of the pieces. So now we've got the beginning of our circle. What we want to do is flip these wall pieces around so they're facing the other way. And you do that by moving the inside bit and flipping them like that. And because these wall pieces have a door hole in them, it means that we can remove the inside bit once we've flipped the piece and it won't complain about the item being floating. Okay, so that's done. Now we can get rid of this centerpiece. Now 
on to the next bit. And the next bit is putting the roof on. So I'm going to use the glass ceiling panels, but if you don't have the glass building kit, you can go ahead and use any, any of your roof pieces. It really doesn't matter which one, as long as it is able to be tilted into the sloping position. And I'll show you about that in a minute. First of all, let's put all the flat pieces on. They're going to be on the outside of the building, not the inside. What you can see is I have all my floor pieces and all my roof pieces on the outside of the wall instead of the inside. And the reason for that is because we're going to do a blueprint which causes a flip merge. Now a flip merge is yet another fantastic tool that Bethesda has given us where we can glitch things together that could not normally be put together. We can form the floor into a circle and we can form the roof into a circle. Now roof pieces can also be formed into a circle using PVP but floor pieces cannot. Floor pieces cannot be broken in any way. So doing a flip merge is the only way to get a circular floor. If any of your pieces are sloping the wrong way, you need to turn them around and make sure they're all sloping the way that I have them. It's not going to work if they're sloping the other way. Okay, so now all my roof pieces are sloping in the correct direction. What we're going to do now is make them all flat again. The reason for that is if you make a blueprint while they're sloping like that, you're not going to be able to place it. It's going to tell you that something's floating. However, when they're flat like this, the blueprint will work and then later on we can convert these roof pieces back into slopes. Now we can go ahead and make the blueprint by pressing E to select each piece and making sure they all turn white. If you're on a console instead of a PC, just look at the bottom of the screen where I have circled my letter E and have a look what your key or button should be. Just double check that you have selected each and every piece. They should all be white. And once you're sure, then save it as a blueprint. And then when you place that blueprint down, you'll see the magic happen. So as you can see now, all of the bits that were sticking outside of the wall are now flipped inside the wall and merged together. So now we're going to go ahead and make all of these roof pieces sloping again. Don't remove them, only convert them into slopes standing in place. If you remove them, you'll break it and you'll have to start again. There we go, now they're all sloping and we have a nice looking glass sloped roof. Look how pretty that looks. I'm going to convert all these walls into glass as well. 
But again, if you don't have the glass building kit, just choose whatever you have that looks the nicest. It could be a log cabin. It could be a brick one. It could be whatever you've got. Now I'm going to get rid of this ugly floor paper and I'm going to choose this grass one mainly because you can't see where the different pieces merge over each other. But you can pick whatever you like. So there's the beginning of our greenhouse. Now let's decorate it a little bit. You can decorate it any way you want to. I'm going to put some plants and some rocks and things to cover up this hole. Now during the blueprinting process, if I had left that centre piece of floor in the middle and blueprinted it, I'm pretty sure that that would have filled in this hole, but I might try that next time. For now we have a hole and we're going to fill it with rocks and plants. The Atom Shop has given us all kinds of really nice plants. I really hope that they give us some more. I would love to have all the flowering plants from the White Springs area. There's just so many beautiful flowers that they have in their gardens and I just wish that we could plant them at our own houses. Or even the wild flowering plants that you find around the place. All these ones in pots they're good, but I'd like to be able to plant some of the other kinds of plants in dirt as well. But no, we're more likely to get another 7 million power armor skins or some funny old bundle from two years ago that everyone's already got. I quite like these garden benches. There's a few different versions of the garden benches that you can put down. So I started putting them on every single wall piece and then it occurred to me that that would look stupid so now I'm going to put them on every second wall piece just to space them out a little bit more. That's better. Now how about some more plants? Of course you don't have to make this into a greenhouse, it could be a little mothman temple or a bedroom or anything really. The only limit is your imagination. So that's looking pretty nice. So now I added some stairs and I think that gives it an even better look. So here's a final view of the greenhouse in the evening. I think it worked out pretty good. 
Well, that's everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you go to a workshop and give it a go or even at your own camp. I'd love to hear how it went and what changes you made and what you think of this design. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps. So smash that like button if you agree and smash it if you don't. Whatever you do, please smash it. I hope to catch you in my next video, which will be out really soon. And until then, I will see you around Appalachia. This is Haneke signing out.